snow. Today at 3.30 in the afternoon in full daylight on an empty garden highway north of Sacramento next to the Sacramento National Airport, David Tat Chow was riding his bicycle on the left side of the highway so that he could be aware of approaching traffic. A silver Chevy four-door new model pickup passes him at a high rate of speed on the right, makes a fast U-turn, and comes back at him menacingly, threateningly. He avoided collision by crossing the highway, got over into the other side of the highway. He stopped, the pickup stopped, and he identified the man in the pickup as a neighbor, as a sheriff. He was wearing a sheriff's uniform with a jacket. The, this man would not tell him his name, nor give him his badge number. However, David, known as Tat, Tat recognized him, that he was a sheriff, and that not only was he a sheriff, his wife is a sheriff. David had been told, David Tat had been told at another occasion that at a party, this man, this man who threatened him with vehicular slaughter and should be charged with it, uh, said that he would get rid of David in the neighborhood. This man is a neighbor of David's, of Tat's, and he has property near Tat's. Now, Tat is trying to stop the foreclosure on his property. You would think that this man would be grateful because by doing so, by doing so, Tat is preventing, or hopefully, reducing the effect of foreclosure on surrounding properties, which is usually to lower their value. So instead of this man, the sheriff, who almost ran him down, saying, thanks, keep up the fight, He's telling people he's going to get him out of the neighborhood. I do not know why. That's open to speculation. Anything along all of this story that I'm telling you so far can be backed up with facts. I encourage you to get them, to do your own thinking, and then to help us because this situation is very hot right now and needs all the help we can get. Threat of foreclosure illegally for a long time. The note that David, that the bank says proves that David should give up his property does not have David's signature on it. Mm -hmm. And in another interview, I would be glad to show it to you mm -hmm. and show it to the world. Mm -hmm. David did not sign the note. His now ex-wife did, who has no title to the property. Mm -hmm. uh, also, there was no title insurance company hired by the bank. This farm has, was bought by his parents uh, when they got back from Vietnam with a little bit of money. It's three acres at the end of the Sacramento National Airport. It's next to a golf course. Mm -hmm. It is a little piece of nature in the midst of a growing metropolitan area. David has been fighting this foreclosure both with money and with wit for years. Now they've produced two inches of paper that result in, if you look at the paper, realizing that it's not legal at all. It has been robo-signed. The company that was caught at it, their stamp is at the bottom of the pages. But that's minor. The big thing is, David didn't sign the note. His ex-wife got $80,000 in a week and has given up all title to the property in the divorce. Now David has the property by dent of being on it and by having the, the brave people of Occupy mm -hmm. that will stand with him mm -hmm. protecting that property by simple moral right. Mm -hmm. This process has denied all the levels of law since the Magna Carta. If there is property rights left, this is an example of them being stolen. Mm -hmm. And they count on us not knowing. They count on us being too confused. They count on us not having the grit it takes mm -hmm. to do what is right. Mm -hmm. And now today, David was threatened by a coward in a sheriff's uniform who wouldn't give his name, who wouldn't give his badge number, and who has said in public he's going to get rid of him. 
I'm asking the world, please, to listen, to help us. We need money. We need communications. There's no communications out there. We got water. We got lots of good water. We need food. We need blankets. We need everything. Please. This is David Tat Chow. C-H-O-W. Please help us. My phone number is 916-519-9026. If you can help us, please do. Namaste.